I think this is the most important story of the day. This is a really shocking development, and it comes right ahead of an earnings season that's really important. You know, it's important remembering that second quarter earnings are always tough. You look what's happened to the stock price of Informatica. Um, you look way over to the right there on that chart with that steep, steep drop, Ouch. giving up all the gains of the year. Yeah. That hurts. And, and what we see from this company is, is something I think that we're starting to hear from a handful of companies we'll be listening for a lot. And it's exactly the kind of thing. It's like that great, that great moment from, do you remember the South Park movie? Remember this? Yes. No. Remember that? I've had it all. And we're getting a lot of blame Europe. There's so much blame Europe, I think, that we're already starting to hear at the end of last quarter. I think we may hear a lot more of. It's certainly the thing to listen to for earnings as we go forward because there are a lot of companies. If you, if you look, at, look at the sales downturn of, of how this has crept up on Informatica even before this. If you look at the year-over-year -year sales growth of each of the last few quarters, what you see is a business that was growing nicely, growing a little more slowly, and then it got to a point where it was actually negative. So negative growth, of course, is shrinkage. You don't want shrinkage. You want a company that continues to grow. So you said other companies could be affected. What other companies? Well, we've already seen some companies uh, in, that are near this space, which may be affected. Uh, and some of the companies that could be affected would include companies such as Oracle and IBM. There are other companies as well. Uh, when we look at you know, MicroStrategy, Teradata, uh, ClickTech, a company I think we've probably never mentioned this show. Tibco, we've had the CEO Tibco on our show. ClickTech is a company that has almost 60% of their revenues coming from Europe. So these are exactly the kind of companies where there could be problems. So why is there anything leading you to think this is more than an Informatica specific problem? I mean, there are some analysts out there saying this is really specific to this particular company. Well, it's because we've already heard this from some companies out there. We've had companies as disparate as Hewlett Packard, Autodesk. Uh, there have been a number of other companies, uh, uh, Applied Materials, NetApp, very big company with a lot of sales in Europe. All those companies have already come out in last quarter saying they've seen a significant slowdown in Europe and it's a problem. So I'm certainly going to be listening as earnings start to creep out in the next few weeks and really over the next six weeks. We're going to hear a lot of companies tell us what's going on and, and the headwind of concern in Europe may be leading to a, a general slowdown in spending in Europe by companies there and that could be a bad thing. So basically you're saying the doom and gloom is going to spread. I'm saying that uh, companies are saying that Europe's bad. And, and uh, technology is particularly uh, open to big swings and spending changes because companies can make decisions to stop the move to the future and the big changes in software by not spending in, in Europe and beyond.